welcome to your practice for today and thanks for coming back. Um, I've really missed teaching my normal classes through this time so it's nice to be able to see some of you guys doing my flows and posting it on social media. It really does make my day so please keep them coming tag me in it's moonstone.yoga.holly on instagram but yeah it really makes my day to see you flowing with me um today in this video i'm going to be guiding you through a quite a dynamic vinyasa flow so it's maybe a intermediate level um so yeah, really just take it at your own pace, listen to your body. If you're feeling like this might be a little too much, maybe check out one of my other videos first. Um, but we're going to be working through a couple of back bends um, and some balances, a little bit of strength. So working through elements of water with that kind of vinyasa flow and air as well. So floating, opening the heart space. So when you're ready, take a seat on your mat. So as always, just find in a comfortable seated position. You can place a block under the sit bones to enable you to sit nice and tall through the spine. Also, just to remind you, you might need a strap in this flow as well. So grab your strap, but in your own time, just find your way onto a comfortable seated position on the mat. Cross the legs, grounding down through the sit bones, elongating through the spine, shoulders soften down the back, place the palms down on the knees. In fact, let's face them up this time, we're opening that heart space. Maybe come into a mudra with the hands if that's what you usually work with. And just softly close down the eyes. Begin to invite yourself into your space, into your little yoga bubble. So bringing that awareness inwards. So bringing that awareness within the four corners and the four edges of your mat. And then within the edges of the body, bringing that awareness in. Just notice how you are feeling. Notice how you are feeling emotionally, energetically and physically in the body. And bringing this awareness from a place of no, non-judgment. So just watching and acknowledging to take a deep breath in through the nose all the way to the top of the head open the mouth and let it go softly same again breathing in breathing out and we're just going to take a breath work practice called box breath. So bring an equal length to the inhalation and the exhalation. And we're also gonna pause at the top of the inhalation and at the bottom of the exhalation as well. So on your inhale, we draw that line all the way up. So picture this in your mind, this box. We pause at the top, Hold that breath in, come back up, breath retention, and exhale, coming down, pause through the bottom, and same again, inhale, going up. So imagine that box shape in your mind. So let's start this together with the count of four. Breathing in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, Four, breathe out, two, three, four, hold, two, 
three, four, three again, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, up, hold, down, hold, up, hold, down, and hold. Come back to your natural rhythm of breath. Noticing that natural ebb and flow. And then when you're ready, we'll start to move. So gently just blink open the eyes. And then we're going to take a couple of twists to start with. So bring the right hand behind the sit bones. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, twist to the right, so left hand to right knee. Inhale, come through centre, bring the palms all the way up. So touch and exhale, twist to the left. One more on each side. Inhale, sweep the arms up, palms together, gaze up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Bring the hands to Kali Mudra. So interlacing all the fingers and the thumbs apart from the index finger. Inhale, send the energy up. Point the fingers up. Exhale, take a side stretch over to the right. Starting to open into the left side. Staying grounded through the left hip. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, over to the left. Really roll open the chest. Inhale, center. Release the hands down in front of you and start to walk the hands forward. Just as far as you can go. Like I said earlier, just really listen to the body and be grateful and happy with where you're at in your yoga practice, not comparing yourself to me or to anybody else that practices yoga, this is your journey. And that's all that matters, just enjoy that journey. It doesn't matter how deep you can get into something, it doesn't matter if you can't do a pose at all. Coming from a place of non-judgment. Okay, walk the hands in and find your tabletop position. We're starting with some lateral movements here. So pushing the sides of the body out to the side, maybe gaze back to that left hip. And then the other way, so push the left ribs out to the left, gaze over to the right foot. Same again on the left, breathing out on the right. Coming back through centre, take cat cow, spread those fingers, engage hasta banda, so really grip the mat, connect with the mat and the earth. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze up, exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, gaze back to the legs. Inhale, open the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck that tailbone. Round the spine. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Come all the way down to your mat. This is where we might need a strap now. We're preparing for Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward wheel pose. So when you're ready, just really open the chest. On your exhale, start to round the shoulders, bring the chin to the chest. 
Same again, inhale, open, drag the mat back and in. Shoulders are above elbows here, by the way. And exhale, rounding the spine, bring the chin to chest. Rounding that upper back. Come back through centre. And start to bend the right knee in, press the hips down into the mat. So just come into half, uh, Danyurasana here, half, sorry, yeah, this is Danyurasana, not Urdhva Danyurasana. This is our bow pose. And you can take your strap around that right foot and work towards that. So you can flip the grip and work towards drawing that right foot up. Or maybe you can take the hand behind you. Push the foot into the hand, the hand into the foot, and lift the chest. Release down. Take it over to the left side, so right forearm down in front of you. Bend the left knee, either just staying here, taking your strap, working with the strap, or take your hand to the top of the foot, and then push the foot into the hand, hand into the foot, chest lift. Engage you jai breath. So breathe in deep through the nose, in and out. Come back to centre. Shake the hips off a little bit. And start to bend into both knees. Again, option to take your strap around the feet. Or reach for both feet. Try to keep the toes together. The big toes. And then on your inhale, lift up. So push the feet into the hands, the hands into the feet, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. This time we're going to hold. Inhale, lift. And make sure you breathe. Maybe feel that gentle rock. One more breath. Release down. Shake the hips side to side. Nice. Press the hands down into the mat. Come up to your tabletop position. And find your way into Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips. Nice and high. Gaze back to the leg. Bring those feet hip width apart and really listen to your body here and listen to what it's asking for. So taking any little movements that you need to release. Really pushing the chest down to the mat. And lengthening that spine. Okay, inhale, bring the gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees and step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, find a half lift, a nice flat back. And exhale, fold down, Uttanasana. Heel toe the feet about hip width apart. And we're finding Padahastasana now. So we're placing the palms of the hands under the feet and ideally bringing those toes to the creases of the wrists. If that is not available to you, just stepping on the fingers or just taking a normal forward fold with the legs bent if you need to. You can bend the knees in this one as well. So stepping onto the palms of the feet. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, so you can fold a little deeper, bend the knees if you need to. And I like to give my wrists a little massage here as well. So maybe wriggle the toes, bring a little bit more weight into the front of the feet, weight into those hands. One more breath. Release the hands and come all the way up so press down into the feet roll the body up to standing 
Take a big shoulder roll up and back. Now into Dasana, your mountain pose. We'll take two deep cleansing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. So when you're ready, breathing in. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale. And let it go. Step into the top of your mat, preparing for Surya Namaskara A, your sun salutation A, and taking any modifications that you need here. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, send the chest forward and down, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a plank. Inhale here. And for your first one, exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down to the mat. Inhale, drop the belly, peel the chest forward, see that bend in the elbow. Ujjangasana. Exhale, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, shoulders melt down. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Same again, add Chaturanga if you wish. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, shoot straight back to Chaturanga or go back through knees, chin, chest. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Breathe in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Nice, from here, step the right foot back and pivot the toes to the long edge of your mat. Come into goddess pose. So point those toes out to the corners of your mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up. As you exhale, cactus the arms and bend the knees. Send the knees in the same direction as those toes. Inhale, really open the chest. As you exhale, wrap the arms around you. Give yourself a big hug. Inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to roll the body round to the right. Come all the way down and back up from the left side. Same again, but the left side. Inhale. Exhale, take it round in a big circle. Inhale at the top. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the top. And exhale to the left. Nice, inhale, sweep the arms up, straighten the legs, palms together. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, pivot the right toes to the right or to the back of your mat. And we're finding warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So bending into that front knee, send the knee over the ankle, pressing down through the back edge of that back foot and the, the edge of the foot is parallel with the edge of the mat. And bring the arms out long, shoulder height. Send that energy out through all directions and stack those shoulders above the hips. Drishti to your right fingertips. So drishti is your gaze. And having a drishti in each posture really helps to bring focus to the mind. Okay, from here, 
We're going to inhale, reverse the warrior. So left hand comes down, right arm reaches up. On your exhale, come back through warrior two. On your inhale, we're going to straighten that leg and come to Trikonasana. Uttita Trikonasana, triangle pose. So just hinging down, send the right hand forward and down, left arm up. Press the hips forward, press down into the big toes of the feet. We're going to flow through these three, uh, three postures. So keep the palms facing out to the side, to that um, left side of the mat. Inhale, come up into your warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, straighten the leg, Trikonasana. Same again. Inhale, Virabhadrasana two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, triangle pose. Come back through your warrior two, bend into that knee. Bring the palms together. Start to straighten that right leg again and step this left foot in slightly. So we're squaring off the hips. Now to the back of your mat, I think we're facing. So if you need to step this left foot in slightly so you can really bring that left hip forward, then please do. We're finding Parsvatanasana, triangle pose. Inhale, both legs are straight. Exhale, hinge forward and just fold halfway. Send the right hip back, the left hip forward. One more breath. From here, place the hands down to the mat and come to the ball of the back foot. We're transitioning to three leg dog and try to keep this right leg nice and straight as you can. So press into the hands and push the shoulders up and out and start to lift that right leg, three leg dog. Nice. Inhale here. Exhale, open the hip, maybe bending the knee and squeezing the heel in towards the glute. From here, bring that knee in towards the chest. Kick the right leg out to the left side, either placing it down and finding your fallen triangle. So sweep that right arm, left arm up open the chest either staying here or we can start to lift that right foot really staying strong in the core maybe wrapping the right leg around the left and finding your eagle legs here garudasana really pushing the left ribs up one more breath wherever you are and as you exhale, place the left hand down. Find three leg dog again. Nice. From here, inhale. Shift the weight forward. That right leg is lifted. And we're going to come to the outer edge of this left foot. Flip over into your wild thing. Really send that chest up to the sky. And now when you're ready from here, we're just going to lower the hips all the way down to a seated position. So this right leg, this right knee should be bending in towards the body and the left leg is out long. So we're setting up for Marichasana. Right hand behind the sit bones. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. On your exhale, twist to the right. Bring that elbow to the knee. Two more deep breaths. Coming back through center. So we're going to find our baby um, dragonfly, I think it's called, baby dragonfly. So I should probably show you from this direction. So the left leg is out long. We're going to step this right leg over the left thigh. 
bring those hands over to the left and we're going to bring the right arm in front of this right shin and reach for that left foot so reach for the outer edge of that left foot so you can see me here so we're tangling ourselves up a bit so the upper arm is in front of the right shin grabbing for that left foot plank down the left hand we're finding chaturanga arms, so we're sending the shoulder forward, keeping the elbows bent. And then we're going to lift, push up through this right foot, lift the bum, and hold. One more breath. And lower back down. So it's a little bit confusing. Give it a little go. Come back to your child's pose, not child's pose, this one, Mary Chastana pose. Okay, from here, <clears throat> we're finding our way back to a downward facing dog. So crossing at the ankles, we're taking a vinyasa here. So either shoot straight back, or you can just step back. I'm gonna step back for this one. So cross at the ankles, roll over the feet, bring the hands forward, step back to a plank, inhale here, Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot forward. From here, <clears throat> we're going to find our warrior three. So lift the left leg, bring the hands to heart center. Then the chest and the crown of the head forward, kick the left heel back. We're coming into Natta Jasana, which is our dancer pose. So bend the right knee, see if you can come all the way up to standing, bringing that left knee in towards the chest. So this is where you might need to grab your strap again. <clears throat> so the left knee is in. Find that balance, so really ground down through the right foot, press down, and we're going to send the left knee down and bring that left foot in towards the left glute. You can grab hold of the foot and just work on this for now. Press the hips forward, send the left knee down, and squeeze that heel in towards the bum. Option two is to take your strap, around the foot and work with your strap so you can lift the right arm up start to hinge forward at that right hip kick the left foot back and really open the chest opening this left shoulder so using your strap or taking your hand Bring the hand, flip that grip to the inside of the foot. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. As you exhale, start to lean forward. Kick that left foot back into the hand. Reach forward, open the chest. Bring your drishti, your gaze to your big thumb. Maybe come into a mudra. And gently release. Nice, okie doke. So same again on the other side. So finding your goddess pose, step the left foot, oh, I think I've confused us now, <laughs> but just stepping out now so that we're facing the long edge of your mat. It doesn't matter which way, we're just gonna do the other leg. So the left leg, in fact, I'm going to face this way so that when it comes to doing the dragonfly, you can see. So when you're ready, finding goddess pose, inhale, sweep the arms up, exhale, bend the knees. This time, we'll bring the right forearm to the right thigh, sweeping the left arm up and over, finding that lateral stretch. Exhale, come through center. Inhale, over to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale, sweep the arms up. 
exhale, palms together. Okay, and now finding warrior two. So pivot the left toes out to the left and then readjusting that right foot if you need to. Edge of the right foot parallel with the edge of the mat and start to bend into the left knee. Bending that left knee over the left ankle. <laughs> Bring the arms out long, shoulder height. Stacking shoulders above the hips. I'm not with it today. <laughs> Finding your warrior two. On your inhale, reverse warrior. And come back through centre. Finding trikonasana, so lengthen the left leg and start to hinge forward. Left hand down, right hand up, press the hips forward. Come back through centre. Inhale in your warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Palms face out to the side. Exhale, straighten the left leg, trikonasana. Inhale, warrior two, bend the knee. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, trikonasana. Come back through center, bring the palms together and step this right foot out to the right, heel toe the left toes out to the left. So the back foot is 45 degrees, finding our um, Parvatanasana, uh, pyramid pose. So inhale here, exhale, send the chest and the crown of the head forward. Send the left hip back, the right hip forward. So keeping the hips nice and square. From here, place the hand down to the mat, finding our three leg dog. So come to the ball of the back foot and sweep that left leg up and back. Start to open that hip. The left hip stacks on top of the right and maybe bend the knee, squeeze the heel in towards the glute. Inhale here, exhale knee comes into the chest, shift the weight forward and kick that left leg out towards the right, finding your fallen triangle, triangle so sweep Come to the instep of the right foot and sweep the right arm all the way up. Lift the chest and either stay here, hi Luna, give your dog a kiss Mwah. and then lift the left leg if you wish and if you wish as well finding your eagle legs so wrapping that left leg around the right. One more breath and on your exhale, sweep the right hand down, back to the mat, three leg dog. Ooh, okay. So from here, wild thing, inhale, exhale, shift the weight forward, flip over, step that left foot over, and sweep the left arm up, wild thing. Really push the chest up to the sky, push the hips up, and then lower the hips down, we're coming to seated position now, so lowering the bum down, finding our Marichasana, so hug the left knee in, left hand behind the sit bones, inhale, sweep the right arm up, exhale, twist, wrapping around that spine, Right elbow to left knee. Two breaths. Breathing length into the spine and depth into the twist. Unravel your twist and coming to our little funky half dragonfly. So step the left foot over the right leg and the toes can point over to the right. Place the right hand down, just come here, Luna come, good girl, 
Michelle. You come to do this pose with us. Okay. Sit. Sit. Sorry guys. <laughs> Got an unruly fur baby. <laughs> so the left foot steps over the right leg. Bring the right hand down to the mat just behind that right hip and then send the weight forward. Bring that left arm in front of the left shin and take hold of the outer edge of the right foot. Okay, so from here we're in position. We just need to take flight. So pressing down through this right hand, shift the weight forward, find chaturanga arm in this right arm. So bend the elbow back, shoulder comes forward and lift the hips. Gaze over to that right foot. I don't know which is my left or right foot now, it's very confusing. And release, come back down to your seated position. And we're taking a vinyasa. So cross at the ankles. If you'd like to shoot straight back into Chaturanga, then come with me. So rolling forward. Bring the hands forward, pop it back straight down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, this time left leg sweeps up and back. And then exhale, step it forward. Finding our warrior three when you're ready. So lift the right leg, bring the hands to the heart centre. Push that right heel away. And then slowly coming up to a standing position, hug that right knee in. Okay, so grabbing your strap here if you need to. Preparing for Natta Rajasana dancer pose. So send the right knee down towards the floor and hug that right heel in towards the bum. Maybe take your strap around the right foot or just take hold of the top of the foot. Either working with this, pushing the hips forward so you can really feel that stretch in the front of the right hip or flip the grip, so bring the grip to the inside of the foot. Sweep the left arm up on the inhale and on the exhale, hinge forward, finding your dancer pose. Maybe come into a mudra. Push the foot into the hand, the hand into the foot. Feeling those opposing forces. And release. Release the foot down. And we're back to our standing position. So we're coming down to the mat now. So sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, place the hands down. Step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna hop through to seated. Inhale, send the gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees. Hop forward, cross at the ankles. Come down to the bum. So now we are going to prepare for our Urdhva Dhanurasana, our upward bow pose or wheel pose or crab pose, whatever you'd like to call it. So come down to the mat and bring the feet, so you can just about touch them with the fingertips. Feet are about hip width apart. I'm just gonna find two rounds of bridge pose and then come into your wheel pose if it's in your practice. So, on your inhale, start to lift the lower back, lift the middle back, and push those hips up to the sky. A gentle squeeze of the glutes, and tuck that chin in towards the chest, Jalandara Bandha. Lower back down on the exhale. 
and just windscreen wipe the knee side to side. Same again, inhale to lift the hips up. Maybe interlace the hands under the back, under the body and shuffle those shoulder blades in towards each other so you can find a little deep fat bend here. One more breath. And lower back down, reversing that movement. So this time either <clears throat> trying the same again, so just bridge pose again, or finding your wheel pose. So bringing the hands to the mat, just either side of the ears if you're coming into wheel. Only do this if you know it's in your practice. Elbows up to the sky, fingers are pointing towards the shoulders and then start to lift the hips up just like we did in the bridge. Press into the hands, lift up onto the crown of the head. Then push into the hands, lift all the way up and send the chest through. Maybe find some little rocks here. Maybe coming up onto the balls of the feet Finding a little bit more space. Whether you're in your wheel or your bridge, taking one more deep breath. And then gently and slowly and carefully lowering all the way back down, just reversing that movement. Bring the feet out to the sides of the mat, knees together, and just windscreen wipe the knees side to side, keep a flex in the ankles. Hello Luna. <laughs> okay, so we didn't want to come straight into hugging the knees in, make sure you've Windscreen wipe the legs a few times first just to neutralize that spine and then you can start to hug the knees in, wrap the arms around the shins, rock side to side. Nice. Okay, come up to seated. Just Finding another forward fold, Paschimottanasana. So really sit down onto the sit bones, flex at the ankles, sit tall. Inhale, sweep the arms up and find that length in the spine first. As you exhale, hinge at the hips. And send the chest forward, send the crown of the head forward. Again, using your strap here if you would like just to help you to ease yourself in with each breath. Two more breaths. And inhale all the way back up. Lie the body down onto the mat, taking any last movements or postures that you need. Maybe you want a happy baby, maybe you want a full body stretch, maybe Supta Baddha Konasana, bringing the soles of the feet together, or maybe you want a twist. Just your choice using your intuition here and listening to what your body needs, what your body is asking for. But in your own time, just finding your Shavasana now. So lie down on the back. If you would like to support that lower back, you can bend the knees Bring the soles of the feet down to the mat, bend the knees in towards each other. Otherwise, just let the 
feet flop out to the sides, arms a few inches away from the body, palms facing up. And then just letting go now, letting go of the practice. Just letting yourself sink down into the earth. Let the fingers gently curl in towards the palms. Maybe you have your dog licking your hands like I do right now. <laughs> just relax the jaw. Soften the space between the eyes. Relax the tongue in the mouth. Rest the tip of the tongue at the back of the front teeth. Let the shoulders be heavy. Let the entire skull be heavy and the pelvis heavy, just sinking down. And Shavasana, in my classes, I usually offer a Shavasana assist. So this is a gentle press on the shoulders. But obviously I can't be with you right now. So what I want you to do with each exhalation is I just want you to imagine someone's pressing down on the shoulders. The shoulders become heavy and ground down into the earth whilst the collarbones broaden and the heart space opens that little bit more. So that Shavasana assist is just to allow you to Relax down a little bit more and find a bit more space. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video and take a good five 10 minutes here. And then when you're ready, we're going to deepen the breath. So bring some length to that breath, deep into the belly. Starting to Bring awareness back to this space, back to this physical body. Make some small movements into fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. And keep those eyes closed down. Just take any movements that you need here, any stretches. And in your own time, slowly with the eyes closed down, Come up to your comfortable seated position. Bring the palms together in Anjali Mudra. Press the thumbs into the sternum. And just absorb that energy that you've cultivated throughout this practice. Notice that you made the decision to roll out your mat today and come to practice yoga, this nourishing, cleansing practice. For our bodies and our minds. Bring the thumbs to the third eye center, the space between the eyebrows, and slightly bow the head as a sign of gratitude and in honor of yourself. Namaste. Thanks for joining me again. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, um, make sure that you follow me on Instagram and post your flows. Let me know how you're getting on. Have a lovely day.
and I'll see you soon.